Hello there and welcome back to European Universalis 4 where I'm playing as Persia. It is 1729, which means that there's about 90 odd years left in the game, which isn't too much. Well, there's a quarter left. Uh, I've completed another big war with the Ottomans, I've taken another chunk of their land. And at the moment I'm just doing a bit of coring because, as expected, my... Uh, Overextension is quite high and it's causing some issues. Now I will just try and save some money. I'm going to build a new fort down here in Mocha. And then once that's built, I can get rid of these two forts. That should hopefully save me some money. Now I've got rebellions in Trebizond, they're probably the most pressing. My spy got caught in Ottomans. I'm going to use what power he has to make a few claims. I'm going to get a claim on Kanik. And a claim on Adana. Okay. I'm also just trying to build up a few. Build up a few more cores. I got a few more. I built a lot of states last episode, so I've got a lot of. Uh, Permanent cores to make. But it looks like my Diplo power and my military power have maxed out, so I'd better get a new tech. So let's go for the East India Man. Diplo tech 26. The East India Man was the largest merchant ship built. It typically could displace in excess of 1,000 tons and measure over 175 feet in length. Those queens of the oceans were the most efficient way of moving men and cargo around the globe. It's a bit of a settler one, but I've got two new ships to build. I'm thinking that might be... No, it's a transport. So it's nothing much for me there. And Miltec 26 is the light infantry companies. First introduced to the Austrian army's irregular troops from the military frontier during the Seven Years' War, light infantry companies were deployed in loose order and proved to be very effective at harassing enemy in leading assaults on entrenchments. So increases land morale quite a bit, more combat width, and enables the Muslim mass infantry. So that'll be those guys, okay. Wait for the morale to kick back in now that they changed all the infantry around. Quite a few counting houses have been built now. It's gonna increase my income a bit. Lights off of Delhi. Not if I need an alliance with Delhi. Could help me take out. I don't know. Hormones are allied with Delhi, so that's not going to work for me. Um, Visor has passed away. The Ottomans tell us of a revolution in the Ottomans. What's this? Decades of feudal oppression, religious intolerance, and unjust taxation have contributed to the revolutionary movements beginning to surface across our lands. Osman III has desperately been seeking resolutions to the ever-increasing problems as the country finds itself on the verge of financial ruin. The population's incessant strife for liberty will probably prove too much of a challenge if I handled properly. Wow. I wonder if I can stoke that little fire somehow. Hmm, that's interesting. Now I might focus on admin power for a little bit just to get that caught up. Is there too many diplomatic relations because I've got a couple of royal marriages I don't want? I could sow some discontent in the Ottomans, that could be interesting. Ah, my king is now kind hearted, so increases war exhaustion reduction, that's good. Now, I have fulfilled another mission, but I think I was waiting because I think he's in prestige, I don't really need at the moment. Oh, 
I've got a truce with the Ottomans until another 11 years, so I might look over towards Hormuz again. I've got a truce with them as well. Timurids. Maybe it's time to attack the Timurids again. But I might need some claims on them this time. I've got a lot to make up. Probably making so many states in one go. And my cores are almost done. And that will make the over extension drops. All these separatist issues or rebellion issues should disappear pretty much instantly, I'd imagine. I don't need a fort in Kandahar. Nor in Ro. Let's get rid of those forts. Bohemia is planning to attack the Ottomans. That's interesting. There's all the cores. Oh, because Bohemia peace out early, didn't they? Promising trader. Our free trade policies are forcing our merchants to become more innovative. One in particular looks like you could become a great man. Huh. Gain a skill two trader. Half price. That could be interesting. He's $10 monthly, but this guy is only 5 so let's take him on. Done. Yeah, definitely don't need truces ending. Definitely don't need that fort in musket. So that'll save me a few dollars. Get rid of this fort here. Now that this is all caught up. Air is has loose lips. It's not very good. Bohemia have declared war. Alright, now that it's all core, let's uh, change some forts around to save a bit of money. So I build one there and I build one there. That will effectively block up this whole border. So no one, well, the Ottomans won't be able to get past. And then if I build one... Uh, where do I want one? National Bank Pays Dividends. Is that like a Monopoly reference? Bank Pays Dividends? I think it might be that. A bit of a Monopoly Easter Egg. Several shrewd loans have led to very good profits at a national bank. The bank is hiking its dividend and buying back some of its shares. I gained 500 ducats. I'm just thinking, where do I build a fort? Do I build it in Suez or do I build it in Gaza? Lots of unrest here. I wouldn't be surprised if Egypt breaks away soon. I might build the fort in Suez. This is blocked them straight away. Done. A lot of money being spent. Okay, Bohemia want access, so I'll grant them that as my ally. Oh, the Ottomans tell us of the revolution is here. The growing revolutionary activity in our country has caused the collapse of the regime. The revolutionary masses stormed a major prison in our capital, and this sent shockwaves throughout the government. The offer to form a new, slightly more constitutional monarchy was initially accepted, but then our old corrupt monarch just couldn't quite resist the urge to try and build, try to bring the good old days back. We were left with no choice but to limit the old king's ability to influence the government by removing his head. Although die-hard monarchists were convinced that the king would soon grow another one, this is not the case. Now a purely temporary committee of public safety has been appointed, which includes the leaders of the initial revolution and an over-ambitious general. 
Our regime's future of liberty and equality at home would be bright, but we seem to have annoyed every crowned head of Europe. Even now we hear reports that they are preparing for war against us, so we must now prepare to defend the Republic. On the bright side, liberal forces are looking for us to export the benefits of the revolution to them, so they will be able to gain support in such a way. Wow. So the Ottomans. Now the revolution in this game. Revolutionary Ottomans. First time I've seen that. For me, it's usually Spain. I mean, they come more stable, but does that mean they're still at risk of um, things I want to do, perhaps? A few more of those done. I want an alliance, but I don't want one with them. I must already have claims. Oh, I do have a few, a uh, couple of claims in the Timurids. I think my tree still stands? Yes. Well, what I might do, I might start sending my armies across to the Timurid lands. Play in the courts. While the Shafi school is the officially sanctioned school of the High Imamate, there are many courts and cardies throughout our lands and all four of the schools of faith are deemed appropriate for civil procedures. This means that to some extent it is possible to play the courts by bringing the case before a cardi of a school considered more likely to give benef a beneficial ruling to a specific case. An entrepreneuring merchant in Kronomabad has become so good at this that it has angered not only the local population and his business competitors, but also the local governor. There is not much we can do about this without making inroads into the privileges of the Ulema. Let's just say, let us ensure that this man is dealt with. Move towards legalism. Yeah, I'm going to prepare. Let's get a truce for quite a while. So let's prepare for a war with the Timurids again. Well, maybe Hormuz. I still have a truce with Hormuz, don't I? When's that end? Four more years. Let's just get these guys over there, shall we? Debate over Sufi practices. Muslim scholars were not united on the question of the permissibility of Sufism. While most appreciated the heightened levels of religious devotion inspired among the general population, some disapproved of how certain Sufis expressed their faith. Poetry and song about wine and illicit love, as well as communal dancing and veneration for the tombs of those regarded as saints, could at times provoke opposition from more hardline elements of the Ulema. Let's support the hardliners, go towards legalism. She's at 100 now, excellent. She's good for my tax modifier. Yeah, I believe I was just about to check some it. like fortresses. Still got a bit of time for them to be built. Wait, is this one built? Yes, so I can ditch this fort in Taiz. So I'm building one in Antioch. Oh. Uh, our nation is in mourning over the loss of a previous monarch, Tamash. At least he's I don't have to buy that name anymore. And he died from food poisoning. Okay. Now I've got a 531 ruler, Ismail. And I've got a 403 heir. That's odd. Not odd, but I know, disappointing. Um, unrest, missionary strength. A few canals I can build, but. Oh no, that. Any more policies worth getting? Okay, so my stability is back to zero. Yeah, I was building three fortresses, wasn't I? Oh yeah, Antioch. 
Not ash. In Suez, that's right. I was building one in Suez. The Sheikh or Islam. Where the Qadis are the judges of the land, the Muftis are the ones to provide general legal interpretation and doctrine. A high imamate as large as ours, however, needs an overarching authority over all Muftis. Traditionally, this is the role of the Sheikh the Sheik or Islam. The Sheikh or Islam will not only author fatwas himself, he will also be the one to appoint many of the regional Muftis in our realm, and ultimately he is the person who will safeguard the legality of the high imam's edicts. Naturally, the manly pick will belong to the Shafi, but there are a number of distinguished candidates to choose from. Uh, my money is a bit low at the moment. Corruption's not really an issue. Legitimacy is not an issue. So let's, let us elect the foremost and the most loyal Mufti to this position. Give it a little tax increase. The Timurids look like they're literally falling apart. Which I guess is good for me. Yeah, probably need some claims on Hormuz as well, so let's get a spy network going with them. I want to try and grow Yarkin a bit, so I'm going to try and focus taking some of these provinces up here. How many more bees have got left? Four more provinces. Oh yeah, Bohemia is taking on the revolutionary Ottomans. Next time I do a war with the Ottomans, I'm going to try... I'm going to set myself another little mini goal for the rest of this campaign. I'm going to try and control... What's this area called, maybe? Well, that's all Constantinople. And I want to try and cut the Ottomans off from this whole region. So I'll let them keep Constantinople itself and Adian. But I'd like to be able to control all this land if possible. It's a lot of land to take on though. Noble family requests aid. The most powerful of the noble families in the state often had vast wealth, but that did not stop them, like their monarchs, from getting into financial troubles. They too could accumulate debts that escaped their ability to pay. They could, at those times, come to the monarch to request aid. The monarchs were often receptive, since they would usually be related by blood or marriage. Oh, that's a lot of... That'd give me a loan. I'm not going to give them a thousand ducats. I'm going to deny the aid, lose 50 admin power, a bit of loyalty. Uh, speaking of estates, do you think I can actually better check these guys? Make sure they're not bleeding unnecessarily, which they are a bit. My last army to come over. Uh, I've probably got too many. Generals as it is, I do. Royal match from Yarkand, I'll take that on. And lose five prestige to grant Monopoly Charter, so I might do that with the Merchant Guilds. Gets me above that threshold again. Do the same with the Ulema. How are those forts going? Almost done. I can clear out a lot of these ones inside, save a lot of money. Except my forces are almost in place. It's a timid. They're only at Miltech 20. Whereas I'm at Miltech. Where are we? 26. So I can't really see them being able to do pretty much anything. Let's be honest. Uh, Ottomans. Another claim. Is there a claim on. Go. Amasia. And we'll get a claim on Bozok. Here we go. Ah, no, 
was an admiral. In that case... Grant a general. And I can get rid of... Hmm. My generals are bad, per se. They're different, let's put it that way. Okay. Looks like they're all ready to attack the Timurids. The only allo jump in would be John Purr. We're not really sure where they are, to be honest. They used to be quite powerful and they kind of disappeared. So, yeah, so I might do that next episode. Bohemian Ottomans are still at war. Looks like the Bohemians are winning, which is good for me. Scandinavia's at war with someone. A lot of Europe. And then Russia is just sitting pretty, which is good. I want to keep Russia out of all this if I can. Alright, well, next episode I'll do another war against the Timurids. Hopefully he's offloaded a lot of my land to Yark and give him at least... Maybe the... T oh, I don't know. I'll give him a bit, see what I can do. And I might take a bit of up here. I'll take a bit of it, let's put it that way. I'll think about it more later. Uh, until then, though, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. Take care out there, and as always, hope to see you next time.